Hey folks, Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb here. And Deputy Chief Matt Hedrick. Thanks for joining us on another edition of Behind the Bars. So today we're going to be talking intake Narcan. Now, obviously we're going to get hit play on this, but one of the big issues is in our communities everywhere across this country is the rise in opiates and especially fentanyl. And uh, I haven't seen this video, but I do know if Narcan's involved, it probably involves some level of opiates, yep. fentanyl, likely to be fentanyl here in this county, um, being that we're on the front lines where all the fentanyl comes through. So, so what you're seeing here is this is a part of our intake where they've been cleared medically and they're waiting to go see their judge or they could actually have already seen the judge for their initial appearance and they're just being re ready for their housing assignment. If you look up at the top uh, left hand corner, you're going to see we got an inmate. He's walking around, he's pacing around, he's clearly not feeling good. He gets a drink and what this shows is like we deal with this all the time where people will come in and we don't know what they are. Uh, maybe under the influence of maybe right before the deputy has contact with them they take a pill and now we, they show up to our facility and it starts to take effect on their body and this is this is what's happening to this guy right now clearly he, he is really um, struggling you can tell obviously he's now going on the ground um, do a couple push-ups <laughs> he's gonna and try to exercise to see if he can wake himself up, up. yeah um, then that's not uncommon Luckily, we do 15 minute walks throughout our intake to make sure that we don't have this type of behavior. A little downward dog. There we go. These guys come in from different activities and we don't know what they are. You know, just and a lot of times it's not even the sheriff's office that brings them in. You got to remember, we have eight different police departments in our county. And so he may have been brought in by one of the other cities as well. Um, our officers are watching this. There's a big observation mirror that's that's right behind this guy. It yeah. looks like a comfortable couch. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's hard plastic. <laughs> so now he comes in. He's going to check. He's going to kick, try to get a reaction. This guy's not responding. Good job by the deputy not just coming in and thinking, oh, he's sleeping, yeah. and then just walking out. Clearly he sees something maybe is going on and now he realizes you know, this can't be good. Now we do have medical nurses and medical staff right in this general area. They have an office there, so they'll be able to respond very quickly. There's a sternum rub. If you've ever had a sternum rub done, oh. it, it is not, it's very painful. Yes. And then if you're like, let's say under the influence of alcohol, a sternum rub might bring you out of it. If you're really out of it, a sternum rub, that's how you know they're yes. out of it. Oof. So now Narcan, it comes in different forms. Most of the Narcan our deputies carry is gonna be the nasal Narcan. So you, you'll hit a couple pumps of the uh, nasal Narcan into the nose. Now what we've got here is because this is going on, you've got another, uh, somebody else has come in with a camera. So we need to be able to document what's happening and making sure that we're doing uh, the appropriate, taking the appropriate steps for this inmate. Also brought in an AED, which is a something, something, something. Yeah, it's a defibrillator. Defibrillator. <laughs> He's clearly responding to the Narcan, which let, lets us know that we're probably right in the, that it was a uh, some type of opiate overdose, likely fentanyl um, overdose. The wonderful part of watching this video is the calmness and um, and, and how my staff handled this situation. There was no like crazy running around emotional panicking. type thing. This is something they train for constantly. As you can see, the opiate epidemic is hitting every community hard. We're all struggling with it. But if you see my staff and how they react to it and the training they receive, we'd love to have you with us. Another life saved, another life protected. We'd love to have you come join us. We got positions right here. We're hiring at the Pinal County Jail. So please check us out and thank you again for joining us on Behind the Bars.